is the blue light energy goddess energy. <laughs> That's a question that um, actually has been asked by quite a few women. And um, as they're posting in the comments, they're talking about feeling like this big emerging goddess energy that's coming through. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video today. So my name is Nancy Rebecca with Intuitive Mind, and I am a psychic clairvoyant who's been communicating with star beings. Not that that was my cup of tea, but it's become my cup of tea. And um, I'm really enjoying the ride, and I hope that you are too. So let's get back to that question. So I went into meditation and I called the star beings in those beautiful blue, uh, very gentle, very benevolent star beings. And so I, I said, would you mind if I ask a few questions? And so they said, no, go, you know, not at all. And I said, so is the blue light goddess energy? And they said, yes, that was it. <laughs> yes. So then I sat there a moment and I said, Okay, is the blue light masculine, divine masculine energy? <laughs> they said, yes. <laughs> and I said, okay, so is the blue light a conscious energy? Meaning, my question was, does it have a consciousness to it? Does it have an intelligence? Does it have a wisdom to it? And they said, yes. And I just had this feeling that if I kept asking that question, they would keep saying yes. So then I changed the question and I said, could you tell me what the blue light energy is? And they said, it is an awakening energy. It is an awakening intelligence. It is an awakening consciousness. And if you need your goddess energy to awaken, it will enhance the awakening of that goddess essence. If you need your more masculine divine essence to awaken, it's an awakening energy. It's going to awaken that. Uh, if, it's, if you want to awaken to your intuition, it's going to help enhance uh, awakening your intuition or your psychic ability, or maybe you want to be a better person or a kinder person, or, uh, you know, maybe you want to think better of yourself and, and, and uh, you want to awaken knowing that um, you are a spark of the divine. It is an awakening uh, essence and awakening energy. And so then they went back to remind me again that this blue light surge that's coming in, uh, it reveals what has been hidden inside of you. What are those aspects of yourself that, that you've hidden from yourself or has been hiding in yourself? You know, for me, it's hard to believe I'm making these videos and I do sit there for a few minutes and have to tell myself, all right, you can do this, Nancy. And then when I hit that, that, you know, roll them button on that camera, it's like, I, I have to pull into those deeper aspects of confidence. So if, if my confidence has been hidden by insecurity, then what has been hidden is going to be revealed. And so let's say that your happiness is hidden by sadness, then what has been hidden is going to be revealed that that over time that sadness, that grief could dissolve and then that happiness will emerge. Uh, they're also they say that awakening essence dissolves illusions, uh, things that we believe to be a truth that aren't a truth. To me, I think it's some of the biggest that come up in relationships where you feel like you know someone pretty well and then all of a sudden they do a, you know, 180 and it's like, whoa, where did, where did that part of you come from? So these are some of the illusions that people may project that, of how they want you to see them, but then the truth is going to be revealed. Clarity is going to come through.
And then they talk about justice. Uh, injustices are going to uh, be revealed. Uh, a light's going to be shined on them, and then justice will prevail. So it is. It's definitely a conscious awakening um, intelligence and knowledge. So let me talk a little bit about feminine divine and masculine divine, and it's also a balancing energy. So it is bringing those two into balance. So again, if you need to bring up more male of that masculine energy to help balance it with all the female energy you're flowing, that's what's happening. We need a world that's balanced because there it's so out of balance right now. So uh, the feminine divine, feminine energy is very intuitive. It's kind of sit back, it's kind of laid back. Let me kind of ponder what's going on. Let me, let me get some information about uh, everybody's story. Like, let me hear everybody's story before I make a decision about what I believe is true. Uh, that you really, you sit and it's very like nature. You're very connected to the creativity and uh, it, it's, it's very growing. Like you get quiet, you sit with yourself, you ponder, you self-reflect. If you have too much female energy, you just might find yourself sitting on the couch 24 seven, streamlining Netflix or something and pondering, you know, pondering and let me think about this. Let me sit with this. Is this right for me? I don't know if it's right for me. My intuition is telling me this and that, but there's just no, there's not much movement. So that's where the feminine goddess divine energy can be out of balance in you. All right, so then that male energy, and believe me, it's yin yang, It there's so much more depth. I'm just giving you a, like a little snapshot from the book of Nancy. So the male energy is much more action oriented. It's It wants to go, 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 go. So you can be in a female body and as soon as you pop up out of bed, it's like you're gonna go jump to the shower, you're gonna get ready really quickly, you're gonna throw the laundry in, you're gonna get the dishes done, you're gonna make breakfast, you're gonna go to work, you're gonna be um, uh, the high achiever, or maybe you're going to school at night, so you're going, 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 um, you know, and in that aspect, you have an out of balance male energy that's on, always on that, um, oh, what's the word that I wanna say? It's highly active, it's action oriented. You, you're surging and you're just always, always, always functioning in that really kind of hardcore, let's focus, let's go, 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 let's run, let's jump over hurdles. And you may run to the end, you don't know how you got there, and you are finding, okay, I needed to go back and pick up some pieces. So that's where you have out of balance male energy. So you wanna balance it, it's like, so you wanna get the feminine, you wanna get the intuitive information, and then when your spirit says, I need you to do this, then you take action. All right, so you get more intuitive information and then you take action. And so you can see, I'm like, okay, my female's this side, my male's this side, but for you, your male and female be, may be on other sides. So <clears throat> when the blue light being said, yeah, it's a goddess energy. Yep, it's a masculine divine energy. Yep, it's this energy, it's that energy, it's whatever you you need it to be to awaken you spiritually to the next level. So war, for example, that's a way out of balance male energy. Our politics here in the US really out of balance with male energy where there's action, 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 when maybe you haven't really sat and thought about it. Uh, intuited it, you know, have the group come together at the highest level of democracy and meditate together on a particular subject before you're going to take action or pray. 
pray about something. Everybody come together and get together and just pray and ask for spiritual guidance and then take action. That, that's, I think, where we're going. That's where I hope that we're going. And that's where the blue uh, surges of this high level knowledge that's coming through is carrying us those, uh, uh, the current of consciousness is carrying us and we can expect to see more of that. And I believe in my bones that we're gonna see more of that. But I imagine there's a lot of you who are listening to me right now who are like, yeah, yeah, I've been hearing this for years, nothing's happened. And I even went through, when we were going through COVID and things like that, I kept saying, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to witness this great awakening in my lifetime. I just thought it's just not gonna happen. I always hoped it would happen, but I just doubt that it's gonna happen anymore. Well, my belief has been re-sparked with these surges. So uh, just to let you know, the male, the female, yes, yes, it is an awakening energy and we're going to continue to awaken and move more into a balanced state but we need to keep focusing and remember we couldn't have had these blue light surges unless each and every human being on the face of the planet was ready for it and so i'm excited to see how all of this balances and plays out uh, and i'm excited to be a, a part of it and i always say we are always much stronger together than we ever ever have been apart and I really believe that. So I'm looking forward to uh, reading the comments to see you know what what your opinion is about that or you know are you feeling more of a masculine or are you feeling more of a feminine or are you feeling like you're in a balanced state? But these are great questions. I will continue to make videos on them if I'm seeing many many people ask the same question that lets me know that um, yeah, it's time for us to have a conversation about it. So thank you again for tuning in. Just to let you know, um, if you go to my website, intuitivemind.org, sign up for my mailing list. You'll get an intuitive style quiz to kind of learn what your intuitive style is. But I'm also staying in touch there, talking about the blue light, uh, doing recordings, uh, blue light med guided meditations uh, to kind of help support us. Uh, during this great time of change. So I look forward to seeing you on that side as well. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.